I'm here with the lovely Margaret Avery, known as Shug. How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you so much. It's nice to be back home. I've been on the road, so it's nice. So you say you've been on the road. What have you been doing on the road? I did a play called Gin Game, a two-character play in Shreveport, Louisiana. And oh, boy, it's, 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 a, it's a good play, but it worked me. Lord, have mercy. Oh, wow. Wow, you're tired now, huh? Well, I'm, I'm perked up for lupus. And why are you perked up for lupus? What brings you out for this event? Well, you know, my character on Being Mary Jane has lupus, Helen Patterson, and that's how I got involved and interested in uh, the, the disease. I didn't realize that so many African-American women are afflicted with this disease, and it's pretty cruel. And you'll see on Being Mary Jane, sometimes I have symptoms, sometimes I don't. But also, I'm here to just support the foundation. I am an official representative for oh, congratulations. the foundation. So, um, Sorry. Well, and so we were going to start trying to raise money and get this research going because it's it seems like it's genetic. That's what I've been hearing tonight. And we just got to get it, get it under control. That's, that's a great cause. And are you working on anything else besides uh, Mary Jane right now? Any other not, upcoming projects? Not, not this minute. I'm trying to rest. <laughs> Being on the road gets right. kind of tough for Grandma. Right. So. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I am here with Tyron Ford, the founder of Ethno Cares. How are you doing this evening? You know, I'm doing lovely. Uh, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, we're out at Sofitel in Beverly Hills uh, for the second annual Ethno Cares Lupus Awareness Social Mister. Great turnout, so uh, I'm doing great. Can you tell me, what's the passion behind um, this organization? You know, uh, my wife, Ashley, is battling lupus. And so I just felt it was my duty to create a platform to be able to use our voice to create awareness for this disease. A lot of people don't know that lupus is actually more common than cancer and AIDS. Uh, and it's really common in the African-American community. So I just felt that I wanted to do an event uh, to get people out, get people, get the conversation started, if you will, and really uh, collect proceeds that go directly to lupus research so we can help find a cure. That's a nice cause. And besides this event, what are you working on right now? Are there anything else in the future for EthnoCares? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to uh, take this event uh, to different cities next year. We're actually partnered with the Alliance for Lupus Research Organization, which is the number one leading uh, research organization that donates the most money to our lupus. And outside of that, I also have a multimedia company, which is Ethno Multimedia Group. We have Ethno Nightlife. We have Ethno Candy. I'm um, part of Studio Malibu. Um, media director for a private jet company, Dream Flights International. So I got my hands in a couple different pots here. But again, my heart is with Ethno Cares, and I make sure that it's just part of our portfolio. Jack of all trades. And where can um, everyone keep up with you and Ethno Cares and anything else you're working with? Absolutely. So we actually have our site, which is ethnocares.org. If you want to support, you can donate, you can join our team, you can get involved. Um, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, at Ethno Cares. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, everyone. I'm here with Ink Monstar. How are you doing this evening? Doing amazing. What brings you out this evening? You know, the, the, the event behind me, the logo behind me, and, and uh, this hand signal right here. This, that's why I'm here tonight. And are you supporting? Do you have anyone in your family that uh, has most, lupus? Most, most definitely, but I've, I've heard about it the past, the past couple of years and stuff like that. And, you know, majority, majority of the women uh, get, get it. And uh, my, my grandmother passed away. Uh, in 09 and she passed away I think I think I think it was too lupus I think it was and I have a question um why do you call yourself Ink Monster <sighs> is it because of all the tattoos you have uh, on your face it, 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 it's from it's from the monster inside me that's where it's from so you're a scary person I'm, I'm not a scary person I'm a loving person I got a lot of pain a, a lot of stress that I've been through um I express the tattoos on my skin in a positive way you know I'm a hard worker person, I'm a, I'm a loving family person, and uh, the tattoos is, is not to harm nobody, it's not to be a mean person or anything, it's just expressing my way in a different way, ink ink way. Okay, understood, and last question, what are you working on right now, any upcoming projects? Oh yeah, 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 I'm working on In Ink We Trust, it's coming soon, just know that.
Thank you.